Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages and some cheap toys that you might find at a local general store. They're a continuing mission to seek out parents who only have a couple of dollars in their wallet. Their goal? To try to entertain children, both young and old. Do they succeed? Do they fail? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hello, my name's Neil Ray, and this is the Toy Story. child, I was obsessed with space. That and dinosaurs. I, I have a weird childhood. Anyways, every time I'd go into some random dollar store or just any local shop that sold toys, I would seek out that space toy, that spaceman, that cool rocket ship. I didn't care how much it cost, a dollar, two dollars. You know, I had to have it. And whether or not they moved, they're posable or flexible, I didn't care either. I, you know, I had adventures, I had so many ideas for them. It was just epic and awesome, and I loved it. And then I got older. The toys, they got more elaborate. And, of course, then it moved from toys to games to whatever I'm doing now. Then I saw these. These brought back pieces of my childhood. And I was like, yeah, space toys. But then I had to ask myself, was it really worth my time, you know, back then? I mean, the imagination, sure, but... Were these toys really worth the cost that I put into them? You know, dropping 50 cents here, dropping a dollar here, were they really worth that much? I guess to a child, maybe. But, we gotta figure out whether or not these are worth your dime. I mean, just looking at them, the way they're packaged and stuff like that, it seems to be pretty good. I mean, they're very colorful, very... Very entertaining, I suppose. Nice designs, nice labels. But I guess you really want to have a closer look at the toys, you know, just to get an idea for yourself. Let's take them over to the table and give them a little bit of analysis, shall we? Okay. Well, now the first thing that you can notice is that they come in two different colors, red and blue. I guess that for variety, you know, they seem pretty cool. Um, we'll just review one for now and... You know, the only difference is that the color. So, let's just look at the one package, okay? First of all, we got this guy. He looks like a rejected Transformer. Yeah. Meg Megatron, or Optagon, or Voltron, I don't know. I was, I was never a Transformers kid. So, you do the math on that one. First things first, it says Robomax, Transforming Robots. So, I guess these things transform. He was only 50 cents, so that's pretty cool. A transforming toy for 50 cents? Good God! Can you believe that stuff? Try me at the back. Um, No thank you? I don't know what to say to that. Try me at the back. It's back here. Apparently he's got some kind of button. Uh, oh, whoa! Hey, that's pretty cool. He's a flashlight. How you? Beep, beep, beep. Dee, dee, dee. Yeah. And he's for ages. Three and up. Just to be important. Because, you know, he has small toys, I'm sure. And... Uh-oh. Look. Anybody zero to three is gonna be that sad face right there. You don't want to have children to have that sad face, but they're gonna have that sad face because they can't have this toy. Sorry. I guess this is recyclable. Who knows? C E. Warning: Choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three. 
Anything else? Just a picture. It's a pretty epic picture. Let's see if I can remove this sticker here. I'm going to get a closer look at the picture. Up. Oh. See, that's the problem with price tags that these people put on this thing. You put it over the picture and then you can't take it off because it tears the picture. Oh well, that happens. I can tell you right now, when we check out the packaging, I can tell you that it's cheap. <laughs> oh, oh, I think i got to cover that up. It's distributed by a store company, but it's made in China. All rubber bands, plastic, and wire ties, as well as tags, are not part of this toy and should be discarded for your child's safety. Remove wire ties before given a toy to child. Please keep this packaging for future references. In case if you didn't figure it out the first time after you are opened and you didn't throw away your rubber bands properly, just keep it for reference guide, you know? You, people forget that kind of stuff pretty easily. As for the red one, pretty much identical. I think, I think they're actually completely identical with the exception of the colors. Even their weapons that they have inside the packaging are completely identical. Sword and it looks like a shield of some kind. So, yeah, does he light up? Does he? No. Oh wait, yes, yes he does. He lights up too. That's good. Alright, so let's take it back to the floor. And open her up, see how packages work. All right. So as I said, we're going to go ahead and open one. Um, since we're working with the blue guy, let's go ahead and open the blue guy. Um, I can tell you right now, I felt when I was doing that table review. Yeah, exactly. Look how flimsy that packaging is. You heard me talk about the glue on the... Uh, animal last time. How good it was? Well, that's why. That, that, that was the cheapest ass glue ever in the history of glue. Alright, so we're going to pull him out here. Oh, holy crap. He is light as a feather. I feel like I'm holding absolutely nothing in my hand right now. He has no weight to him. Whatsoever. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna throw him down. Well, apparently he's got movement. Let's let's I'll look at the weapons here in just a moment. All right. So what kind of range of movement do we have here? Well, he's supposed to transform from what the package said. I don't bite. He is not going to transform. All right. I think we well, are in the light here. Um, yeah, he's not going to transform at all, unless he's trying to transform into a truck, which that's not happening. And look, his light's already dying, and that's, you drop him once and the light dies. Huh. Well. Yeah, he's definitely not going to transform. He's light as a feather. And i got to say... Will he stand under his own power? He will stand under his own power. So that is a plus. Now, will he hold his weapons? That is important for a child. Because if I'm going to be playing with him, I want him to hold his weapons. Now, what I assumed was a shield... Um, attaches to his butt. Or no, does it does it cook, connect like that? No. It attaches to his rear. Apparently, it does not attach to his rear. Um, where does this thing go? There's no instructions. Oh. We have the sword. And... Does it not go... Well, he's definitely going to hold it really good. That's a plus. 
Oh wait, does, does it connect there? Maybe? Oh, okay. Then. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah! He's got a sword that's kind of stationary, and he's got a shield. And his sword, he's not going to be using it too well. So, if if you if you could just stand, like, right here, he, he's not going to hit you. No, can't do nothing. I can swing my sword, so stand right behind me, a quarter, a quarter to the right, and then I'll stab you from behind, and then stand right there, and I'll just shove it in your belly. And if he tries to block anything, yeah, he's he's not going to get very far with blocking, are you? No, no I'm not. It sucks. Hmm. I'm reliving childhood moments. Let's have an epic battle! Alright, Red Warrior. Do you want to have an epic battle or what? I'm um, not too sure, Blue Warrior. I can hardly move my leg forward to march. Huh, that sucks. You know, it, it's the movement. No, I can't move. I can move it right and left, but I can't move it forward. Well, shit. What are we supposed to do now? I don't quite know. I guess we just stand here and hope to God that we are able to move someday. Hey! Oh, I slice you! Wow, well, that kind of hurt a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me. Yeah, oh, no. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's. See that cat? Was that a cat? I don't know. Something. Something weird. I don't know. It was kind of creepy. Yeah, you call that creepy. Is that an earthworm wearing a jumpsuit? I think so. You lost your shield! Have I? Yes, you've drawn it away over there. Well, so I have. Hey! Hey, you. You see this over here? Yeah, what is it? They're like crazy. I'm the one's least away. And it's close. And I am. I can actually move my legs forward. See? Marshall's like Hitler. My god, was that a rejected pirate? I don't think so. Let me help you guys. Uh, that's okay, buddy. No. Give you a buck for that. That's okay. We don't need your help. Oh. Aww. I lose many friends now. And that is these toys. If it wasn't for the fact that they can't really move their legs forward and stuff like that, I think they would make some pretty cool toys. But aside from that, they they can hardly keep their shields on, for lack of better terms. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the rating system here. Because I know I kind of missed out on the rating system last time with the whole whistling of the butthole made me forget what I was doing. Quality is poor. I mean, like, really poor because they're light as a feather, they're cheap plastic, and they don't move. Design, medium at best. The fact of the matter that they're missing some coloration underneath those regions here and here, and then when you move them, the paint starts to peel. So it's cheaply made paint, too. Kind of smell funny. Uh, battery life. This one seems to be working just fine. This one just... And I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I dropped it. That might be part of it, but... Yeah. And I don't even know what the purpose of this is. So... During battle, are you going to blind your opponent? Oh! Maybe. 
Uh, small parts, yeah, it definitely has those. Very easily lost if I didn't look down. So that's the poor thing. So if you lose your weapons and stuff like that, all you get is Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And I kid you not, they're the exact same color as Rock'em Sock'em Robots. So that's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, was it worth 50 cents? Uh, I would have to say no. If I had to rate anything, 10 cents at the most for each of these. It's like the cheap plastic, you know, the way they're designed, very cheap, very made. 10 cents. I wouldn't pay anything more than that. And, like I said, Burger King toys. I'm Neo Raven, and those things have been reviewed.